Hi, my name is Eddie Jackson Jr. and this is Real True Street Crime. Let me say this all to you all. When I go to telling you about runs, I give you an estimate. Demetrius came out in 85 and got killed in 90. That's a five year run. I said he had eight. It's been over 40 years down there. First way we met Demetrius was when my father first got out of the penitentiary and gave Demetrius, his mother, $20,000 to help her out her business at her clothing store. So the relationship with Demetrius was a long one. Okay, I'm three years off. My memory a little short. I need a research person. I know all my stories are true. My dates, like I'm looking for the day French Road 3875 was on the front page of the newspaper. Unless you have the exact day, you have to go through the uh, files, the history files down there at Detroit Library. And I'm in Florida now, so my stories that I'm telling you are very much true. Instead of an eight-year run, he had a five-year run. Just like when I told you all about Pep at the barbershop, and I told y'all he ran home, but the police actually carried him home. Small, minute facts. Everything is 97% true. Everything I told you, eight-year run, Five years is what it actually was. When you're getting down right now, I can't find any of the articles, articles about 3875 French Road that was written, and there were many. I have, Right now, I am trying to get the interview of my father on channel four and seven. I'm going to the archives. It is almost impossible to find and track down and get some things. So understand me, when I tell you the story is true, all right, I'm three years off. Demetrius had a five-year run. Okay, I'm three years short. All the shit we did, did it in five. All right. If that makes you happy, there you go. You got it. You understand? It's all right. If that's a hell of a thing in the fact that you think, because you can look in the paper and they tell you he lived in 85 and got killed in 90, but they can't tell you nothing else about his life. Period. But that fact. And it's a painful fact for me. So I'm not always trying to give you exact date. I'll give you a roundabout. He had about an eight-year run. He had a five-year run. I say Maserati had a ten-year run. He probably had a five or six-year run as well. You understand? I was guesstimating. That's what that's called, a guesstimate. But I know what I'm saying is true. Just like I'm telling you now. My father died 60 years. Bush Jones in jail right now. Dying of AIDS. That's, that's true. There's no more to be said about that. You understand? So I try to give it to you as true as I can. Dates, I can't give you. And I've told you that already. Because when I started this network, I wanted to have the newspaper article in my hand before I told you the story, but I never could find any of the newspaper articles because I needed an exact date of when it was in the paper. That has been my problem because I would love to show you the newspaper article, tell you the day, what paper it in, what year it in. I, that was my plan from the beginning with Real True Street Crime was to give you the real article out of the paper, in my hand, and I need a true research person for that. And if I ever get on TV, that will be, like I told you, Elliot Ness. I'll give you the paper article right there, tell you the year and everything, then take you behind the story. So your year be exact if one or two years off really means something. Or do you want the real story? Or do you want somebody looping something to you a year or two, exact date of it, but I'm giving you the real of what happened. Yeah, because it's a little foggy because I lived it and it's 
30, 40 years later, I accept that. But here, I'm here for this discussion here today. I want to bring to y'all all, and I'm glad that call came for me to tell you all, because I was about to tell you all this when I'm working on to solve all of what we're talking about right now, and I hope y'all all view it. I'm trying to do a real true street crime TV show. I need a network to pick it up. I want to have three contestants, and I want them to come on Real True Street Crime, and I want all three of them to tell a 20-minute story. Have to be true. We'll check your facts and everything before you tell your story and get the chance to come on our show. We will check your facts and make sure your facts is right. That's why I need a fact checker. The only thing they can help me on is dates, because they damn sure can't help me on telling the story, baby, because I lived it. So I know the story. Dates. I might be a little foggy on because I can't remember dates like that. But let me explain to you what the show is about. It's called Real True Street Crime Game Show. We got three contestants from all around the country, anywhere in the country, anywhere in the 50 states. Anybody whose story who check out to be real, true, and legit comes on the show as one of the three. You tell your show, your story, for 20 minutes, you got a 20 minutes like telling a joke. You got 20 minutes to tell your story. The audience hears all three stories and picks which story they like the best to move on the next week. Who's the best real true street crime storyteller? The winner gets $5,000 that week and moves on to next week. Contestants to see if he can tell the best real true street crime story another week and win another $5,000. So this is what I want a network to pick up and it's a show I really believe would be successful because it includes all of you, any New York, Baltimore, Boston, Louis, I don't care, uh, Louisiana, New Orleans, anywhere you at, come and tell your story. If it check out to be real and true, Come on, have a seat on the hot seat. Three hot seats. All three of the seats is hot seats. Have a seat on the hot seat and tell your story and see what America says. Who wins? The winner gets $5,000 and a chance to tell his story again next week and to stay the champion. How many weeks can the champion go? 20,000, 30,000. How many weeks can the champion go telling stories? Anybody from around the country, if I mind, people check the story out. It's real true. We do all the facts checking. I am your host, Eddie Jackson Jr., Real True Street Time Game Show. Step up, E Boys in the first chair. Step up, Staley boys in that chair. Step up, one of the young boys in that chair who's left living, who want to tell the story because there's not many of them left. Who's going to tell y'all stories when y'all gone if y'all don't tell them now? So I'm trying to create a format for everybody to tell their story and win some money. Let's entertain America. This is Real True Street Crime asking all of my subscribers, what do you think about this game show? The first show I came up with was showing you the newspaper article and then telling you all about it. That would end any dates and all of that full of boo, because that's what it is, full of boo. All of that full of boo. Uh, it's a year or two off of this and that. That's full of boo. You want to know what happened? 85 to 90, I tell you, you understand? That's what I'm talking about, the full of boom. So this is Eddie Jackson Jr., Real True Street Crime, laying it down to all of you in America. I want to put a new game show down called Real True Street Crime and give everybody in all America a chance to tell their story and win some money every week. I think it'll be one of the hottest shows on TV if we could possibly make it happen. 
with yours truly, host, Eddie Jackson Jr. And this is Real True Street Crime television show. Go and check out Jelani's Catering, Jelani's Tasting Table, wonderful chef, straight out of Baker's College, Baker's Finest. You gotta try some of them tacos with that lime sour cream sauce. And I keep hollering that to you because it's so delicious and it'll help keep your figure all right instead of eating all that beef. So I try to keep my figure together a little more now that I'm getting old and eat a little more fish and seafood as to all that red meat. So that's why I mention them fish tacos so much because it's what I eat. So as I say to you all before I go, this is Real True Street Crime. Like, subscribe, and share. And I am Eddie Baby at Instagram. I am Eddie Baby at Instagram. And before we go, let me leave you with this one. Go over to Spotify Crime Town, Kingpin's Kids. And I'm going to be saying a lot of you all. Let's get that show on the road so everybody can tell their stories and make some money. This is Eddie Jackson Jr., Real True Street Crime, trying to get everybody involved who got a story to tell. Let's find a network and get this done. I'm out. Like, subscribe, and share. Peace and love. Happy New Year's. I'm out.